Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will start learning about Angular 2, first let's see what is Angular 2? Angular is a TypeScript based open source web application framework led by the Angular team at Google. Angular is a complete rewrite from the same team that built AngularJS. Here are some details about TypeScript so it is an open source programming language developed and maintained by Microsoft. It is a strict syntactical superset of JavaScript. Angular is a platform that makes it easy to build applications with the web. Angular combines declarative templates, dependency injection, and end-to-end -to -end tooling and integrated best practices to solve development challenges. Angular empowers developers to build applications that live on the web, mobile, or the desktop. Angular is a framework which allows you to create reactive single-page applications. Let's setting up an Angular 2. To create Angular 2 application so first, we need to install Node.js, so search for Node.js download. Open first link. As you can see two tabs are available like LTS and Current, Open Current tab. See this also same as LTS so if you want you can download latest Node.js, but as you can see the first tab they mentioned like recommended for most users, so I will go with the first tab. I am using Windows 64 bit so let's download MSI file. Downloaded successfully. Now let's install this MSI. Steps are very simple, just follow whatever I am doing. Installed successfully. So to check that it installed successfully, let's open command prompt. There is a command called npm version, so if it installed properly it will give Node.js details, otherwise, it won't, let's check. As you can see it's giving some information along with version, now just point to the downloads folder. Let's create the new Angular application using ng new command. To make it simple application name I first tap. Oops it's telling ng is not recognized. So to use such kind of command we need to install Angular CLI. Let's install, so the command is very simple like npm install g at Angular CLI. See it start installing. Installed successfully. Now try same ng command to create the new application. See it's working. It's asking to add angular routing. Let's say why. Now it's asking for choose style sheet. Let's say CSS. See application creation starts. Application created successfully. Now let's see how to run this application. There is a simple command called ng serve. See it start compiling the application. See compiled successfully, and it's telling you can see the server is listening localhost 4200. Let's open. See it's working, the welcome message is coming. Let's just go through the application flow. I just downloaded Sublime Test will help me to open this as a project. See project imported. This time, I am not going in details. Open src folder. As you can see in index.html file. Let's open and see what is the code inside. Simple HTML with some Angular stuff. Like base and approot. So approot is a selector. Let's see from where that welcome message is coming. Open app folder. As you can see three types of unique files like one for TypeScript, one for HTML, one for CSS. Let's open the first app component TS file. Coding styling is similar to Java. Not exactly but if you know Java then it's very easy to learn Angular. Like import same as Java but the syntax is different but the behavior is the same. The component is an annotation which is a part of the Angular core if you knew how annotations works in Spring then here also similar behavior. 
As you can see component accepts three parameters so first select your app root which we saw in index HTML. Template URL is nothing but the HTML location. Style URLs this is an array you can use multiple CSS. The class name also like Java camel case character. But one new thing need to add export before class so it's like after export you can extend this class if you want. Here one variable called title which is assigning my first tap. The same you can see in UI also. Let's change it to something else. See it is compiling automatically. Compiled successfully. See automatically refresh. See the new message is showing now. So app root is a part of index HTML. Open app component HTML. So here is the code which we are seeing the browser, the title you can see at line number 4, with double curly braces that are called string interpolation. CSS is completely empty. Now let's open a very important file called app modules. Now you can understand easily this class. Here it used ng module annotation. So whenever you create a new component you need to add in declarations array. When you want to add a new module like here using two, so you need to add an imports array. Providers when we create new service class then add in providers array. Bootstrap so as you can see app component that's why when application loads it is showing app component HTML data. Other folders we will explore in coming videos. Now I hope you got the basic idea about Angular 2 and how Angular 2 application works. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.